A bank statement serves as a legally binding notification instrument from the bank to its customers, which shows you a bank account's ending balance as of a particular date and the transactions that contributed to that balance. When the bank sends you a bank statement, you will need to match this statement with the relevant transactions that you have registered in your database for the bank general ledger account. Let's take a look at how we can do this. Navigate to Banking, Bank Statements and External Reconciliations, then Manual Reconciliation. What we are performing through this window is an external reconciliation, which is when we are matching our internal transactions against an external data source. In this case, the external source is the statement received from the bank. To perform the manual reconciliation, select the appropriate general ledger account for the bank statement that you received. In this case, we will choose the savings account. Notice how the system remembers the last balance from the previous reconciliation. Identify the ending balance as displayed on your bank statement and enter that balance here. My bank statement ending balance is $257,269.53. Then add the relevant end date. In my case, the bank statement is for the transactions up to the end of June. Click OK. The Reconciliation Bank Statement window displays the transactions registered for the bank account we selected in the database. In our example, we have four transactions, made up of one deposit from an incoming payment from one of our customers, and three outgoing payments to our vendors. We can drill down into the journal entry, and then drill down into the origin document to see more details on the transaction if we want to. Let's first give our reconciliation a unique statement number, like the date of the reconciliation. Notice that the cleared book balance is still the balance from the last reconciliation, so we have a large difference between the ending balance on the bank statement and the cleared book balance. What we need to do is go through our displayed transactions and clear the ones that we find matches for on the bank statement. As I'm going through the bank statement, I notice that the deposit and three outgoing payments appear on the statement and they match, so I can check the cleared checkboxes. Notice how the transaction amount appears in the cleared amount column and our cleared book balance now reflects these newly cleared transactions. We can also see a summary of the number of payments and deposits, as well as their total amounts, at the bottom left of the window. Although we have cleared all of the transactions displayed in the window, we still have a difference of $120 between the cleared book balance and the bank statement ending balance. Looking through the bank statement, I notice that this is because the bank charged us a fee of $120 that we did not reflect in our company database. We can use the Adjustments button to enter a transaction in the system to reconcile this difference. If our difference has come from a missing incoming or outgoing payment, check for payment, or deposit, we can use the Adjustment button to add those transactions here. Since this is just a bank fee, we are just going to add a journal entry. Our bank general ledger account automatically populates the journal entry. We can add our credit of 120 to this account, then add the bank charges expense account, tab off the general ledger account name field to balance the transaction, and then add the journal entry. Notice that the new entry is reflected as a payment to reduce the cleared book balance, and the cleared checkbox is automatically checked. Now our difference is zero. We can only execute the reconciliation when the difference is zero. Click the reconcile button to execute the reconciliation. You can view your executed reconciliations by going to the Manage Previous External Reconciliations option under the Bank Statements and External Reconciliations folder. Enter the Bank General Ledger account and click OK. Select the correct reconciliation in the top window to display the details from the reconciliation at the bottom. On the left, you will see the transactions from the reconciliation, and on the right, you will see the ending cleared balance. Performing manual bank reconciliations is just one example of the tools available for you to use in SAP Business One that help make your financial processes simple and easy to perform. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turning on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance. Music